How's it going guys? It's me Cthulhu Crisis. We're going to make a quick video here showing some basics of Emo Tracker and then we'll get into the auto tracking. You can skip forward to about two minutes in if that's what you're looking for. So first I wanted to show when you first get Emo Tracker, it's not going to look like this, but it will have this cloud this package manager. We're going to be going a little quick through this. Um, we're going to type in Jets and the second option here is Jets of Time. We'll click install. You can also put in jets of time. Doesn't super matter. That's going to get you all set up like this. Um, I have mine set up to open a very particular size. You can do that as well by going to documents slash emo tracker, opening this application settings and adding these two lines of code. You can also tweak those numbers to get it exactly the size you want it. The last thing I want to show about emo tracker is let's say you checked snail stop and it was broken hilt and you wanted to mark that you can click and hold on snail stop drag down into the window and then click this box and you can mark that the broken hilt was there now when you hover over it later you can be reminded of what is at that spot that may or may not be useful to you um you can also right click it to mark it as done and it will add it to your list but let's say you didn't want that let's say you wanted it to do it for you. Now that's where auto tracking comes in. So there's a couple steps to auto tracking, but the most important thing is that you need a very particular emulator. I'm going to have the link to the one I use, which is a particular version of SNES 9X that supports Lua. I'll put that in the description. So you can click File, Lua Scripting, New Lua Script Window. And then you need to point it to the connector file, which is located in program files x86 slash emo tracker slash connectors slash SNES 9x. And you can do this connector.lua. It's going to error because it's it doesn't have anything to connect to. So now we can go to emo tracker here. We can right click auto tracking down this little robot head. You can go to SNES Lua and that will connect it up. Now, if for some reason things got all wonky and there was some sort of disconnect, you can always hit reset to default and then right click this robot head and hit start. And you're always going to right click the robot head. Left click won't do anything to him. So right clicks are the way to go. Um, and then it's connected up and you can see if I load this save, it might take it a second, but it's going to show all the bosses I killed. It's going to show that and it's going to show... Uh, the items characters and the maps of where i could still go this particular seed uh, i think was uh, lost world so i didn't do any of the checks in, in kind of the overworld um, so that is about it if you have any questions hit me up on discord that's the best way to reach me i'm very active in the jets of time community at the time of this video i'm also active on twitch doing lots and lots of runs so if you have questions or anything like that feel free to hit me up by either of those and i'd be glad to help you out otherwise thanks for checking it out guys and hope this was helpful to somebody